All right, what's going on, guys? I am so sorry. I know I haven't uploaded in... It's been like a week, I think. I know. Um, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm still uploading. It's just... Uh, yeah, actually, over the past couple of days, I've been kind of sick. Well, I guess I'm not, like, really super sick. It's just the fact that I've had, like, like part of my face was completely swollen. So, yeah, I don't know if you can even tell on camera right now. But it actually looks it looks a lot better. But it was, it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, so I had to, like, take care of that. My face was, like, completely swollen up. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about today is something really cool. I know I said in, like, my last videos that I was going to get um, another part installed. Or I was going to do an install on the Challenger. Now, I didn't do it yet because uh, when I was really starting to think about it, I could do it. But this is a more, I guess, kind of a more in-depth type of thing. And I kind of want to make sure that I can get it done correctly. And I want to make sure that it's done right. Like, all the stuff that I did to the Jeep, um, you know, I did most of the stuff that I needed to do. I did that myself. But for this car, granted though, I mean, it's still, it, it is just a car, but I want to make sure everything's done like really nice. Um, I did find a nice shop around, around me that they seem to really know what they're doing. I've looked at the reviews and they, they deal with a lot of like performance vehicles and they, you know, uh, I don't know. They do have a lot of performance vehicles. They've done this episode before. And if things work out with this, you know, we will more than likely get, or I will more than likely go back to them to do a lot more stuff. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the modification that I got. They are just paddle shifters for the Dodge Challenger. Now, don't know if I can do this one-handed, but I'm gonna open this up if I can. Oh, all right. The shifter kit, this is what they look like, essentially. Um, they're pretty, these are pretty nice. These are just orders straight from Mopar. Um, they seem to work. They, you know, not much really you can say, but they're just paddle shifters. But let me show you guys what the steering wheel looks like. So, yeah, steering wheel without it. Um, yeah, the paddle shifters, they will essentially just go kind of, you know, there and there in order to do this i would have i would have have had to unhook the battery from the vehicle and then i would have had to take off uh the screws behind here on each side so like this part would come off uh and then you have to take off the airbag and in order to do that you need to un disconnect the battery so that your airbag doesn't go off and from all the videos i've seen other people doing it it seems like it's kind of a pain in the butt and honestly, I found the place that they're like, yeah, we'll just do it for you. Um, I'd rather just pay them to do it than have myself deal with this. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. So that's my reasoning. But I think getting the power shifters will be really nice. Especially now that I, now that I have the Z Automotive Taser installed, getting using that with the power shifters will be really nice. Uh, and if for you guys who don't know, in order to use the power shifters, you do need the Taser to unlock the uh pedal shifting abilities otherwise you it just it wouldn't work um but yeah so now that i have the power shifters um i'm really happy about that i have two when you buy them you have to buy the left and the right uh i will say one thing real quickly the quality of these power shifters they're pretty nice um you know this part itself it's like i wouldn't say this is straight metal i don't know that well this might be it definitely feels quite solid. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. It has a nice click to it. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, I did try to look to see if there was any like aftermarket ones, but nah. You just better be. It would be better off just buying the actual like Mopar, um, just quality ones. You know, get the OEM ones. I don't really know. That's a, that's another thing. I don't really know if there's a difference between like the SRT ones and like the normal ones. I know that they all hook up to the same. Pretty much the steering wheel is pretty much the same. Besides for like the SRTs, I believe the SRTs and like the Hellcats, they might have a flat bottom, but pretty much everything else is the same. So, um, in theory, they all should hook up to the same type of steering wheel. Um, but I just don't really know if there even is a difference between an SRT and like a normal, um, like an RT power shifters. I don't think that there is. But correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not looking this up right now. So, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. 
I just want to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, the power shifters, that will be coming soon. So I'm actually, I just, I literally just got off the phone with the shop. I'm dropping the car off. Today is Thursday. I'm dropping the car off Monday night to picking it up Tuesday. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so yeah, so that should be done. And then to give you guys another update on my Jeep search, I have been searching, well, that's my camera almost falls. I've been searching for... I don't know how long it's been a oh, while wow. every single lead that i've come up on it's, it's either been like it's the wrong vehicle or people they're just really flaky and like i to me I, that i would never understand if you're trying to sell a vehicle why would you like why wouldn't you want to sell it like i don't understand that if you're you know you're trying to sell if someone was like interested and they're asking you the right questions and they're like okay you know well i'll come i'll take a look at it like if it's if everything works out, I'll be willing to buy it. You know why would they just kind of be like, nah. like I to me, I would never understand that. And I also would never understand if you're trying to sell something, why would you take the worst pictures and have no description? I don't know. I've sold a lot of cars like on Craigslist and like stuff. Always take the best quality photos that you can and leave like the most description that you can. I mean, that's the type of stuff that literally, like if I'm a shopper and I see someone who has better photos and some type of description that looks like, you know, a human wrote it. Okay. I'm going to probably look at that versus something else. Even if that car is in like a little bit worse of a condition, just, you know, taking really nice photos that, that helps sell it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's my rant on that, but I've been looking and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Still haven't found anything yet. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just wait. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I'll wait like another month or so. Who knows? Um, I really would love to, to buy one if I could find one. Because I really want to. I really would like to have a project car over the summer. That's my goal. I want to have a project car over the summer. I was thinking about getting something that could be more performance oriented. But it probably wouldn't make much sense if I'm already driving a Challenger. I kind of wanted to have the Jeep because I could do more off-roading stuff. And do stuff with the dogs and do stuff, you know, I don't know, just, it just, it would just be different. It's something that I can, I wouldn't have, to, not that I wouldn't care about it, but something that I wouldn't, I can do more of the, you know, DIY stuff on that versus with this, you know, take this to the shop, do the more like pretty stuff to this, you know, versus that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I could find one, I will, but right now I haven't. So I don't know. I guess I'll wait a little bit longer. But I just recently have been kicking around the idea of buying another motorcycle as well, just because, I don't know. I haven't written in like a while, but I kind of have the itch to ride again. So, I don't know. We will see about that. I may or may not. We don't know. But I wanted to give you guys a quick video, give you guys kind of an update on what's been going on and everything like that. Um, yeah, but besides for that, the Challenger, it's been doing great. It's been snowing on and off right now. There's not much snow. Actually, I will show you guys if you can see. You can't really see, but oh, there you go. Yeah, there's like no snow right now. Oh, as I dropped the camera, wow. And I'm keeping all of this in this. This is gonna be a, a one take video. So you guys just saw me drop the camera. But um, yeah, there's not that much snow right now, but it's been snowing on and off for like the last couple of days. And I think we might get some more snow. Actually, it's gonna warm up this weekend, but yeah, I don't know. Driving the Challenger, it's been great, honestly. Um, yeah, it's been it's been great. Do I miss the Jeep Wrangler slightly? In certain cases, I do. Um, but honestly, like this this Challenger, it's, it's so much fun. It really is. Um, but yeah, so I just want to. I'll leave you guys with that. And uh, uh, but yeah, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like and check out some of the other videos that I've done. I know this is a shorter, like just me talking to the camera style video, but sometimes I like doing these type of videos, just giving you guys an update on everything that's been going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I like doing that, but don't worry. I still have my normal, regular videos, stuff like that. So check out my channel. You'll see all this stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully the next video or hopefully in the next videos, the power shifters will be installed and I'll be talking all about that and showing you guys how it is. But yeah, thank you so much and goodbye.